Our friend Billy here has been saved, but don't ask from what. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the onBlock method, which is basically the same thing as onPlaced, in which the result will happen when you place a block. Hello everybody, my name is Christian Quick, and welcome back to another video. So, to get this started, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the on placed, and then I'm going to control D, I'm going to backspace all of the two little namespaces, and then I'm going to fill them in with the words that I am going to be reusing. So I'm going to use two types of cotton, so I'm going to do underscore cotton, and then I'm going to then uh, control, control D, and so the first one is going to be dry cotton, and the second one is going to be wet cotton. So once again in here, we're going to do dry cotton, and then we're going to be making wet cotton. Now we're going to make this uh, block, and then we're going to make this, well, we're going to call it on block added, but it's not made yet. So we're going to have to make it, so we're going to go into new Java class, we're going to call this on block added, which is exactly the same name as this. And on here it's saying, hey, there's a problem because we need to extend, oh, not block colors, extends blocks, and then we're going to import that because I made the mistake. But then we're going to construct our matching super, and everything is perfectly fine. So from here, how do we get started? Well, let's type on on block added and type it in. So what is on block added? Well, it's exactly the same thing as basically if I typed in on a place, except here is the thing on block added is it's very difficult. You can say state and old state, but honestly, you can do that anyways. It just makes other things difficult because it doesn't have a placer. There are ways to get your placer, but because anything that has world basically contains everything. I'll show you how to work that out later, but just know that these two things are basically the same. So if you saw the unplaced, everything can shove, be shoved in here, but I'll show you how to replace the placer at, towards the end. The first thing is, how is this normally used in the code? So if we actually look up our uh, wet sp oops, sponge block, we actually have the onBlock method added here at the top. And so if we just simply just control C and then we're going to paste it inside of ours in the middle here as our result, it says if the world is the get dimension ultra warm, which is the nether, we're going to set the block at the current position of that block to a sponge with a debt default state. And the flags, I'm not really too sure what the flags are, but if you copy it from somewhere, you should probably keep it. <laughs> Uh, world sync events are a little bit difficult to figure out themselves, but what the actual numbers are, once again, if you copy and paste it, keep it what it is. The Then play sound. This is just an extra little vanity thing. If you want to keep it, you can. There's the player entity. You can remove that redundant cast, and it should be perfectly fine. So this is basically going to make it a sponge. But here is the thing. We don't want sponge. We want to make, let's say, uh, uh, mod blocks dot and then we want this to be our dry cotton so now we have a block going into a second block so this block basically does well it does nothing we actually don't need the non opaque in here if you want to get rid of the non opaque i just realized that um but this block does nothing it's just, it's basically just a vanity decoration block because it, it, it's for another block now this happens a lot when you're coding but it is what it is so Let's get this kick, uh, kicked off. So remember to add stuff in your mod item group, your block state, lang, models, textures, and then you can begin the world. All right, here we are back to our beautiful Minecraft world, and we also have Billy here joined with us. So we're going to be going to the nether for this experiment, because if I was to take a uh, normal wet sponge here, and then we just kind of put it on the ground, it does nothing. So we're to go to the nether, one of the ways you can either use set block, I like to use fill, and then I just type this in six times, and then I go nether underscore p, tab enter, and bam, look at that. We are now in the nether. So now if I go over here and I place the block, look at that, it, it just turns into a normal dry cotton and like I said this block does nothing it's just for decorational purposes but we now have a wet and dry block so that is a pretty good thing uh, that's it, it is basically what it is um, but let's 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 talk about let's make this block explode because uh, I want I want to show you also how to use this uh, without the entity 
So we're we're back in our little code here area, and uh, so we want to grab. So let's go in our on placed here, and you'll notice that hey, it's got basically Control C, uh, and then we have our on placed, and then let's say if I just have basically normally you would say world uh, world dots uh, create explosion entity, and then I can say a placer, I can say a uh, position dot get x position dot get y position dot get z and then we'll have a explosion type and then um, explosion type block boom but now if I said ah oh, well if they're the same then I can copy this control C and then I can just put it inside of here because well the variable is world however the inside variable is another variable that requires placer and that that's where things get messed up. So let's let's uh, do two things here. Let's take all this code, Control C. We're gonna put it on a top here, so it's no longer gonna need to be in the Nether because I want to keep my overworld looking beautiful. So we'll keep that here, and we're gonna put the explosion just inside of the Nether because because um, that's basically what we would want. Control C, and then Control V. All right. So how do we fix? placer well as long as you have the world the world is your best friend and here is how we're going to call the placer so we can say world a dot and then look at that we can say get closest player now there seems to be two of them at the top there are actually a lot of them but these two so it says get flo closest player entity we don't have an entity so that would be really stupid for us to try and do that one Let's take a look at this one at the top. We got double, double, double. Those are all numbers we can grab. A double, that's a number, and then a boolean, true or false. That is perfect. So let's click on that one. And like it said, so we can do a position dot get x, position dot get y, position dot get z. And then it's going to say, how far away from the block do we want to find the closest player? Let's say 10 blocks away and um, how uh, do we want to ignore creative? Let's say let, let's say true. It doesn't matter if you're in creative or not. And then uh, we could split this. Uh, we could set this explosion. Uh, let's say 50. Let's let's make it really really nice. And then let's also get rid of our on place method here. I was just trying to show you that it was working. So now we are 100% reliant on our on block added code. You can see there's no issues. Now over here, there is also a little line. Now normally there is a coding rule where you wanna kind of hit enter because otherwise see how like it's like getting out of my screen view and I can't really see it. So this is probably the proper way to do that. But honestly, um, it is a general thing. I'm gonna keep that living here and then I'll take where the comma is and I'll hit enter from there. That's just kind of how I would do it, but do it how you feel. And then every time I see this, every time you import and get stuff out of there, uh, it always puts this imports at the top, but if you just close it, you can ignore it. Perfectly fine. So now let's let's take a look inside the world and let's take a look at how we just reinitialized our on block added. Should still be the same, but it's a different way of doing things. All right, here we are in the Nether. Let's go into the overworld, however, real quick. So if I have my dry cotton, dry cotton doesn't do anything. If I have my wet cotton, it does the same thing that it was doing in the nether but if I go into the nether it is not going to be doing that uh, oh Billy no you can't be in here I'm going to fix you later okay so uh, to make sure it's not too close to the portal and I don't want to kill Billy so let's do slash TP uh, and then let's just uh, make it a really big number let's let's really get out of here and here is a perfect place we're going to place it and then kaboom look at that Totally, totally ignoring if I am in creative, which is perfectly fine. Obviously, if I was in survival, this would 100% kill me, but it is absolutely making explosions all over the place. Pretty good for ancient debris mining, if I do say so myself, but uh, that is going to basically wrap up this little tutorial. So we have the explosion. I'm probably going to add explosions to like everything because... Playing with them is fun, and also learning how to reinitialize things in different ways is also really fun. Sorry, I didn't mean to give you a little kiss there. But that's going to wrap up this video. Um, it's I, It's been like three weeks since I've made one. Um, there is a lot of stuff that has been also changed in how the tutorial is going to somewhat go and not go. 
I said I wasn't going to add entities, and then I'm going to be adding entities. I'm also adding something with the data types, but that is far, far from here. We still got to get through all the blocks, all the items, all the data, and then we're going to get into entities and some extra stuff after that. But I actually have to make the content to actually get there. So if you have any questions, I now have a semi-functioning Discord now. So just kind of, if you want to join the Discord, or if you're having trouble, you can join the Discord. You can you can say, hey, where's the coding help? And I'll make you a coder, and then we can all talk about everything out there. So with that in mind, thank you guys so much for watching. And without further ado, 